Hey everyone, welcome back to another Godzilla Battling video, and today we are taking a look at the studio bonuses for Godzilla 2004. Now, obviously, these are all acquirable through the studio mode in your game. You use your star points, you level up your characters, uh, you infuse the star points into them, you level them up, you get these rewards. These rewards will translate into the arena. Not obviously all of them, like in arena, you know, your showdown prep rush isn't going to help, but your HP, your speed, and your damage will, okay? So, we'll take a look at that and what... Um, Godzilla 2004 has on him and I will say in one of the categories for arena he is amongst the best the upper echelon echelon whatever it is of characters that have this so we're taking a look at his damage really quickly nothing to write home about 0.3 here 0.3 here for a 0.6 total not very good we'll take a look at his HP 0 0.3 0 0.3 0 0.3 so a 0.9 total not anything really to write home about we'll take a look at his speed Ooh, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.3, 0 0.6, 0.6. Godzilla Final Wars is getting a total of a 3.0% speed boost from studio ranks when he hits level 28. This puts him with the other top speedsters in studio mode. Mothra Leo has a 3.0 speed boost. Naranga, for whatever reason, has a 3.0 speed boost. Rodan 64 has a 3.0 speed boost, and Gigan 72 also has a 3.0 speed boost. That puts Godzilla 2004 up there with them with some of the fastest characters in the game. Leo being one of the fastest, I believe, if I remember correctly. Especially when he's got the rush. That makes it pretty fast. Godzilla 2004 is already super, super fast. If you've been using him on the field, you've been watching any videos, my content, uh, any other YouTube content with him, he's super fast. You'll notice that right away. A good player will be able to make the speed boost work. There is an argument to be made that if you make a character faster than normal, you know, maybe they'll outpace your push or something like that. But I think if you're a good enough player, you'll know how to compensate for that with a team. I think he's really good. I really cannot understate how impactful i think godzilla 2004 is going to end up becoming in the meta he's going to be very good right now during this season that this video goes live uh you know during october of 2022 uh it's his release season we're only three days maybe four days into his release and uh i like him a lot he's cracked out um and the speed boost is going to help him out if you're at all considering using godzilla 2004 long term in your decks or uh just you know during his season I would crank him up to level 28 for the speed boost, and I'll just let you know right now, all of the characters with a 3.0 total speed boost are all unlocked at 28. So if you're like, oh, who's easier to get, like, uh, how I said, Mephilus is easier than, like, Burning Godzilla, for example. Godzilla 04, they're all level 28 in studio mode. However, that does require that your Godzilla, uh, what does he have to be, at least level 4? 15 to hit this at, at the i mean he's gotta be level 15 in this in the arena anyway to get him to level 30 in the studio mode so to get him to 28 what does he have to be 14 that's that's a lot right that is a lot so if you're using your g materials on him and you got the battle pass and you're trying to open orbs or boxes or whatever here he is like listen he's good i like him a lot i'm gonna try to continue to use him he's definitely becoming a g material candidate for myself and i know a lot of others are already dumping materials into him he's very good he's very powerful i think he's going to be very impactful in the meta going forward and he's one of the faster characters in the game and he gets one of the best speed boosts in the game from the studio mode so i just wanted to make that very clear to you guys that he is amongst the top performers i feel like we've gotten two we've gotten three top performers back to back giant octopus mephilus and now godzilla 2004 so very very solid very good for Arena, right? I like him a lot. He's got my seal of approval. I think his studio mode stats are decent. or All of his stats are just decent, but his speed is really, really good. You know, he's a jack of no trades, but he is the master of one. So that's it. If you're using him in your deck, I would just try to crank him up as high as you can in the studio to get those bonuses. I mean, most people from the past are going to be able to get him level 4. He's not even going to get his first speed boost until he's level 6, which requires you to have a level 3. Godzilla 2004, at the end of the season, at minimum, mine is going to be a level 3, so I'll at least get one speed boost, but 
if you're out there already dumping G materials in him or you're whaling, just go. I would just say go for it if you want to use him to his fullest potential. Just go and just dump your star points into him. And there's an offer in the store for the Geigen 2004 mummy statue that is like 600 or 800 gems. It gives you an additional 1,000 star points to use in the studio mode. You could use that towards him if you want, but I like him. I, I don't think I'm going to stop gushing about how much I'm actually really enjoying Godzilla 2004 in this game. I think it actually might have given me a new appreciation for Godzilla 2004. Uh, and I like him a lot. So that's the video for you guys today. Short and sweet. Really straight to the point. And uh, I feel like I went over myself a bunch of times. But you get the picture. Thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you all on the next one. Bye-bye.